Good morning, everybody. Um, I've been meaning to make a message for such a long time, but um, I think today is the right time. I want to share a very important message with you. I'm going to make two short videos. The first one is just uh, my point of view and my heart regarding the times we are entering and we are already in. Um, <clears throat> so I want to take you back to 2019. In 2019, we were very privileged <clears throat> to visit Israel and we were supposed to go or we went in November 2019. And just before we traveled, I had two dreams. Um, I dream a lot and it is sometimes difficult for me to discern what is from Abba and what is a fleshly dream. But I think the more you, you learn and the more you write down your dreams, you, you come to discern um, which is which. Um, I do sometimes get very prophetic dreams. If you've ever heard my testimony about my son, Ephraim, and how we came to, to, to adopt him, um, that's when I learned. Abba showed me so many things during that season that was fulfilled just exactly in the way that I had dreamed it. So I do get prophetic dreams, which come true. Um, but in 2019, I had a dream just before our Israel holiday. And I have shared this before, but I just quickly want to recap it for um, the purpose of, of the whole story and so that people who might not have known this, um, yeah, that's just all the information. So I had a dream where we were, um, I was sitting um, at a stop street or a, a, a robot in traffic and I was sitting in my car and I was looking in the rearview mirror and I saw many planes coming up behind me like smaller um, airplanes, the kind they use in, um, like in the old movies <laughs> when they do um, battle and they were dropping bombs all of a sudden and I could see in the dream that these planes were from China they I can't remember the color of the planes but had they had the big red circle on the side and I knew these planes were from China and the bombs that they were dropping was really colorful they were like multicolored rainbow kind of balls and as the bombs were dropping they didn't explode like regular bombs and when they exploded they contained a liquid and if the liquid touched you, you became sick. And there were some more details to the dream that I don't want to go into now. It was just more like what Abba showed us what to do during that time. Um, but I understood in the dream, it's probably um, um, biological warfare. But when I woke the next morning, <laughs> I understood the dream, but I was very confused because something like that just seemed so far off. I mean, it really... At first I thought, okay, this is just um, one of those weird dreams that you really cannot make sense of. But I did remember it and I wrote it down. Um, little did I know what was to come. And another dream I had just after that was the second dream. So the dream I had was, um, I, in my dream I had the knowledge, the dream started where I already had the knowledge that there was a big storm. Um, type of storm I cannot exactly tell you if it was just like a hurricane, strong winds or tsunami or something of everything but there was a big natural storm or calamity and me and my husband wanted to go and assess the damage that the storm had caused so we walked out of the house and in the dream I also had the sense that it was not our country, we were in another country and as we were walking um, the first signs we saw wasn't the damage wasn't that bad we saw like trees being blown over you know um, pieces of debris lying around but nothing terrible but the m more we went north um, the bigger the damage of the storm became um, the sea was on our right hand side and at one stage we came across I could see a city in front of me with big skyscrapers almost like if I had to guess I didn't know this in the dream but if I had to guess it will be a city like New York that had big skyscrapers and I could see big um, ships 
like um, ships that carried oil and stuff like that, they were literally pierced the buildings and they were stuck inside the buildings. Um, that's how bad, you know, the damage was. And it created absolute chaos. Um, and in my dream, I then also realized that somebody's gonna take advantage of the chaos to make a move. And the next moment, the streets were filled with soldiers and they were ordering people around. And again, there was a lot of knowledge, things I just knew in the dream. I saw these soldiers and they were um, like type of arresting people. I just knew that the war was between Putin and Trump. And um, yeah, so there was some more detail in the dream, but I don't think it's important to this message. So again, I woke up and because I knew in the dream we were not in our own country, <clears throat> I was a bit hesitant <laughs> if we should go to, to Israel. Um, at that stage, I think Trump was at the end of his last term. Um, and I shared the dream with our, our tour leader, who's a good friend of ours and also a man of God. And we just had peace. We had peace that it was not for now. And yeah, I just wrote down the dream, but in the end, we still went to Israel and it was a blessed time. <laughs> there was one moment where we were visiting the city of David and some of um, the Air Force um, jets came flying over because they were being bombed from somewhere. And I just remembered this dream and I was like, oh no, is this happening? But um, I was just filled me with peace and I realized, you know, that dream was not for now. And then Trump's um, term came to, to an end. So I was really confused. I was like, but Abba, was that then also just a fleshly dream? Um, because his term as president is coming to an end. So maybe it didn't mean anything. <clears throat> so I wrote down these two dreams because they were very... Um, <clears throat> realistic and full of detail and I just sparked them and then 2020 came and COVID happened and I remembered this dream about the airplanes and it just made so much sense and I realized but Abba showed me and he warned, warned me even if it was just to tell me listen um, I did give you a prophetic dream I did warn you about COVID um, and it happened just like I showed you so please take note of the other dream as well and I think for more than a year, I just sparked the dream. But then I realized and I heard that Trump was going to run for president again. So the elections will be at the end of this year in November. And Abba just keeps reminding me of the dream. And then all of a sudden, so many other people in ministry was getting, sorry, dreams and revelations. And including, I think the first video I saw was one of Jim Staley, where Abba showed him a vision of things that was going to happen in the near future. And just so many things that he showed him just echoed out of my dream. and was like, Abba, what is coming? What is coming? And then not long ago, Michelle Stradom, as you guys know, she's doing a whole series on the book of Revelation. Um, yeah, and it took her three years to send this message out, to get the courage to record it because it's such a heavy message. So three years ago, I think she was busy working <coughs> on something else, on her medical work. And she was sitting by a desk working and all of a sudden she got a word from Abba, so clear in her spirit. And she wrote it down on a little note and he said to her, he will reveal to her the book of Revelation word for word. He's gonna show her exactly what's gonna happen. And she was like, what? Um, and she was almost shocked by this because it wasn't ever really an interest for her or something that she's been studying. So if you've watched the videos or you haven't, you know, just know that it was really something that was supernaturally showed to her. It wasn't something she's been studying for years or passion of hers. Um, but she's, she's done the series on, on the book of Revelation. And then recently she also posted a shorter video that was specifically a warning for America and the time they are entering. And when I heard this message, it just troubled my spirit so, so much. Um, and I just want to honor Michelle for being obedient. It's not difficult. It is not easy. It's difficult for somebody to give such a strong wo word of warning um, to Abba's people. Um, and he just spoke to my heart and I just remembered this dream. Um, it just confirmed 
to me, you know, that it's the truth and that is what is coming. I heard so many prophetic messages from Christine Beatsworth regarding the storm that's coming and everything is just falling into place. Um, and also, obviously, you know, in between, uh, but, um, Russia and Ukraine started having a war last year and, um, yeah, it's just like all the pieces are falling into place. So this is a message, a warning message to ask you to please to pray with me. The body needs to pray together. I think the times as we know it is going to change and it's going to happen so fast. It's like the word says, if you don't know the signs and the times, it's going to befall you like a thief in the night. It's just going to happen so unexpectedly. Um, but we know what is coming. We need to prepare our hearts. We need to prepare our, our um, minds. We need to prepare maybe, you know, physically as well. Um, so Abba will give us wisdom. So he will unite us. And that he will, uh, yeah, show whom to prepare what and where people must go. And that we will all will be at the right time and in the right place. If the poor boy hits the fan, so to speak. Um, if you haven't watched the video of Michelle, where she wants America, I will post it um, after this video. Um, and then I just want to tell you that about a beautiful new product that I'm releasing. So, because I think it, it, it has to do with this whole story that I just told you. Um, my heart's really been to have products with purpose and to do what Abba shows me. And about two years ago, um, it was after the dreams of Trump and COVID. Um, I had another dream where I was worshipping with people on top of a very tall building. And we were worshipping Abba, we were singing, and I had my hands in the air and I was looking up to the sky. And the next moment I saw a prayer shawl above me floating in the sky. So I had a vision in my dream as I was worshipping. And I could see the prayer shawl had writing on it. And I knew in the dream it was Psalm 91 written on it. And I knew it was a new product that Abba wants me to make. So I know that um, many of you know our prayer shawls that are hand-woven cotton. So this was different. I knew it was linen and it was printed on it. And I knew Abba wanted me to make this product for the season we are going in as protection. But life goes on and it was just always nibbling here at the back of my head and I couldn't get to a point to actually design something and how I would want it made. But again, I always try to operate out of a place of peace to know that Abba will really prompt me when the time is right. Um, so yeah, in the last two, three months, I've been working really hard to design um, the special that I saw in my dream. And as I was designing it, I was so excited and I shared the artwork and the dream with Michelle, um, who is a friend of mine, and I shared it with her because I know she's got a very, very soft spot for Psalm 91. I don't know if you guys have ever heard her testimony about her grandparents and how they used to pray Psalm 91 over their lives every day. And um, yeah, when they were attacked in Zimbabwe where they lived, they just prayed, prayed um, Psalm 91 and basically nothing was left of their farm and of their house. They came, came out of there unscathed. Um, Psalm 91 is really a very powerful tool. There are many, many Psalms and many other scriptures that also is very handy to pray for protection. But Psalm 91 has that anointing because it gives you that picture of Abba as an eagle and we just hide under his wing, his wings of protection. Anyway, so I shared with her this dream I had and this shawl I'm designing and she said to me, wow, that is so special because if you actually go and look, now that she's been studying um, Revelations and if you go look at closely at Psalm 91 and you go study each verse and you break it open and you go look at what happens with each seal that's going to be opened in the book of Revelation. So what is going to come upon the earth Psalm 91 is actually a covering of protection, verse for verse, of what Revelation says is going to happen. And it just clicked for me. I was like, wow, Abba, that is just so profound. And I know now and I understand now why you wanted me to make this product. So something I just want to make clear, there's obviously no power in a piece of cloth. 
um, you don't have to have a Psalm 91 prayer shawl to have Abba's protection. Um, but Abba sometimes let us do something prophetic to come in alignment with what he wants to do in our lives. So it's just an extra tool, the shawl, to have and to proclaim that Psalm over your life. To cover yourself with that and to say, I believe in Psalm 91. I cover my family, I cover myself for the time that is to come. So even if you don't have a shawl or don't buy a shawl, that's not important. The message, message is that we need to start really entering and pressing into Abba's tabernacle, into his presence, um, to listen what we need to do and to start praying Psalm 91 over, over our lives, over our children's lives, over our loved ones, um, because times are going to change fast. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And then <clears throat> it was so beautiful. So this product's going to be available in three different um, designs or not designs, applications. So first of all, it is a, a prayer shawl like I saw in the video and it's the one I'm having over me. I'll show you now. Um, it is a very big prayer shawl and you can cover you and your love like once if you pray together. Um, it's made of 100% pure linen, but it's a linen mesh, so it's very light and it's see-through. Um, I tried to use a thinner type of linen to keep the price a bit down because linen is very, very expensive. Then I also made a smaller, thinner version um, that's sewn together into an infinity scarf. Um, so that's also an option. And then this is the infinity scarf. So basically you will twist it and you can wear it as a, a round scarf around your neck. And then also it will be available as a wall hanging to decorate um, your house with or to hang it by your front door. Um, and then last of all, I wanted to mention like each shawl will have a, a red cord at the top and the bottom. It's sewn through the other side as well. And the reason for this red cord that's added, if you don't like it, you can always cut it loose and just take it off. But it's prophetic and symbolic for the, the red cord that was used with um, Rahab and that she hanged it off a wall. And Abba said, if the, if the destruction comes, whoever is with you in this room will be saved. So this red cord of hope is for those of you who have family and friends who might not be saved. And to really just trust Abba and to, when you pray, to include them in that protection of Psalm 91 and say, Abba, um, I do a prophetic act and I bring those loved ones with me into this room of your protection and I hang out my red cord and when destruction comes that we will be saved. Um, yeah, that is my, my message to you. Um, oh, the last little detail I wanted to share with you as I was doing the casting of the, the shawl and I was just praying to Abba asking him what, what's the price I must um, add to the shawl and a number came up and I wasn't sure what the number meant so I went to my Hebrew lexicon and I looked up the Strong's number that correlates with the number that I've heard and I don't have it here in front of me but I think it's um, I think it's one two one H one two one two, and I looked it up, and I was just yeah, again so dumbfounded <laughs> about Abba's attention to detail. So that strong number is the name of an Israelite. It was the name of one of the Israelites that Abba called to make all the ornaments and all the things they needed for the tabernacle in the wilderness, and it said that Abba's spirit came over him to anoint him with basically creativity to do and make what Abba wanted him to make. But what's so beautiful, you look at, if you look at the meaning of his name, his name means to be in the shadow or in the protection of Elohim. And I was just like, wow, Abba, that's Psalm 91. So I just knew that I knew that what I was busy with was not out of my flesh and Abba was in control of that. And um, it comes with yeah, a whole message. Um, and I wanted to share the story with you and not just post an advertisement. Um, 
but please take heed people and I will if Abba shows me anything other to share regarding this topic I will share it um, but I just want to bless you in the name of Yahushua and I want to pray for your safety and your protection in the season to come.